Welcome to my Indigo Disc Nuzlocke. I am Nino Marquis, and I continue to Nuzlocke slash challenge run the DLCs for Pokemon just to spice it up a little bit. I've done it for three of them now, so why not? Why stop now? I'm going to go ahead and start the Indigo Disc. Thank you guys for continuing to watch, by the way. I know that sometimes it's a very niche series. So for anybody that watches and enjoys it, please feel free to leave a comment down there, and I will see it. I will respond, and let me know what you think. Early here in the new year starting and check this guy out dude. He's freaking dapper. Um, hmm. Who do we have here? Yes, I'm on my way to Blueberry Academy. I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Who are you again? Uh, the name's Nino Marquis. And I'm the freaking champion. Oh, that's right. You're Nino Marquis. Yes, yes. I know you. Well then, now that you're here, let's get going. Uh, wait. Wait just a moment. Director Serrano. Yo, Clavel. This guy's, uh, this guy's abducting me. Oh, hello there. I actually kind of like that uh, scarf he's got going on there. Hello, Valley. Oof, Clavel. You have fallen hard. Um, you are as lively as always. I didn't realize you were here. Of course I am. As director of this academy with glitching frames everywhere, or pixels everywhere, where else would I be? Uh, and do address me more properly while students are present, would you? More importantly, what are you doing here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped my mind. Immediately don't trust this guy. Anyway, what, what's, what's it matter? This is the student, right? Well, yes, he is, but... I do apologize, Master Nita Marquis. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Serrano of Blueberry Academy. As I mentioned on the phone, he's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Serrano. Er, I, did I not mention that? Are you... What's what's with the eyes, dude? Why are they so inside? I don't trust this guy. One look at our young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clarify that point. Speaking of which, why did you request Master Nito Marquis specifically to take part in your exchange program? Dude, I'm in the champion, that's why. Excellent question, Valley. It's very simple. The reason is... I'm bald. No, he's still got a little bit of hair there. Um, hmm, why did I put in that request? Oh, that's right! The school trip to Kitakami. Nito Marquis met some of my students there, didn't he? Yes, yes, one of them was named Carmine, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Director Serrano. He saluted him, what the... <laughs> what is... I feel like these two have a, a very old history of, like, I don't know, things that you don't talk about anymore because you never should have done them in the first place. I'd just love for you to visit my school. You would be a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Well, if anything can be said about Director Serrano is that he has a keen eye for talent. I would be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there, but only if you're willing to, of course. All right, well, you guys can view the Nuzlocke rules in the description, by the way, and... Uh, and I will run in with two Pokemon only. The two Pokemon I'm running in with were basically survivors from the Nuzlocke. One from my base Nuzlocke, who's not severely overleveled. And then one from the Teal Mask Challenge run. I wish I could accompany Master New Marquis, but I'm afraid that I'm, I must ask you to watch over him in my steed. Will you watch over him? Of course. I'd never let anything happen to one of your students. I hope this experience leads you to even more treasure that you can hunt. Uh, yeah, this is... I think everybody just hates me and wants to battle me. I think we're all going to be super passive-aggressive. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready. I am. So, I will use the Pokemon that I acquired from Nuzlocke. So like I say, I also... I over-leveled, like, Miasma as my Toxapex. Toxapex is amazing, but at level 100, I think I should omit it from this challenge. Plus, this challenge is probably going to involve, uh, involve a lot more Pokemon than the Teal Mask challenge run did, so I can catch a lot more variety. Are you ready to kick off the students or your studies abroad? Let's rock. Great. I, I feel like this guy's an imposter or something. I don't know. He's there, There's something going on here, especially with that one lady with the, with the crystal study. And here it is, the treasure of Area Zero, hidden treasure of Area Zero, part two, the Indigo Disc. 
emphasis on the disc. Here we are. So this is fun fact for anybody watching that doesn't know me. This is the first time I've ever actually entered Unova. Pokemon Black is a game that I've held off on for 10 years, waiting to play it. Um, and then I blew it off on my channel. Just seems like things kept getting in the way and things keep getting in the way. But I promise Pokemon Black is coming. I've saved it specifically for the purpose that I wanted to be a better editor so that I could make it look better when I edit it and everything is all said and done. We're here. Welcome to my grand Blueberry Academy. Well, we're in Unova, but obviously we're just barely in Unova. This is actually the just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? Hold on. Underwater architecture is something that I think you have to get approved from um, several nations. And not only that, it never works. Oh, and did you notice? Look at how blue the place is. I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Let's see, what else? Is this guy just like a millionaire or a billionaire rather? And he's, you know, he's he's trying to control everybody and, and then look great. And Perhaps you have something that you'd like to ask me. How do you know Director Clavel? Oh, we served in the war together 72 years ago. Well, it's simple. You see, uh, it's Director Serrano and Director Clavel got to know each other through the postgraduate work at the same university, or at least that's what I've heard. Hello, pink-haired anime girl. Yes, right, exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh, no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do. Nita Marquis is here as part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, eh? Hold on. This is the exchange student from the Paldea region? You should have seen what I did in the Galar region. I suppose I didn't introduce myself. I'm Lacey, one of the second-year students here. You must really be something special, you know. It's rare for Director Serrano to remember the name of a new student. Just call me out, why don't you? Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of a dick move. Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? Wait, you want me to do it? Well, yeah, uh, the, you know this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. His strong suit is actually a, a black suit with a black hat. He's just wearing the white one because it's casual. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. Oh, please, don't take it like that. It's not that I don't want to show you around or anything. Director Serrano just has this bad habit of pushing off his duties onto me, you see? He's like, I made my billions and I built my infrastructure. What more do you want from me? I like how she's just like, no, no, no. <laughs> Back, be gone. <laughs> really letting me have it today, aren't you? That said, this might be my chance, my or this might be my chance to get to know the new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can. That decides it. I will take on this task. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this bridge and to the entrance. I was gonna say, does she she doesn't know that I know Carmine. Get this, that BBQ I did. Hey, this is school. Get off your phone. I'm just kidding. That was 2010. It's 2024. I'm pretty sure everybody gave up on that. Just head straight to the entrance. As long as Carmine's not like, oh my god, he's here, we got a battle. All right, let me give you my th first thoughts too, by the way. That's part of the reason I do blind Nuzlocke. It may be a blind Nuzlocke, but it's not all about the Nuzlocke. Sometimes there's a, there's a little bit of exploration involved, or I should say mostly there's exploration involved. So it's kind of like a, a let's play, play through, but with a little twist. This is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. Our students put a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. We hold official matches on the central court right here at the Centris, and any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say you'll be battling more here than in any other school. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, uh, you should see what I had to do over in Paldea. Director Serrano... I think it, perhaps it's fine if you just leave the tour to me. <laughs> just <laughs> yeet out of here, man. We're, you're, you're bothering us. Still, it's really relaxing here. With the sea breeze blowing over you, even when no one is battling, you often see students lazing uh, about in the stands. Oh, oh, oh. And there's one other quality for our school you'll likely find very surprising. Wild Pokemon terastalize here. 
Yeah, uh, so I've I've heard. Oh, I suppose that's not anything special from someone from Paldea, is it? The terrestrial ph phenomenon was first discovered in the Paldea region, after all. But we've taken things a step further than you and your Terra orbs. We've developed some neat tech ourselves. Something that lets us control the terrestrial phenomenon on our own turf. I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? It does. Uh, sir, I think it would be easier to understand how that works after we go to the lower level. If you put a little pin in that thought. Ah, always thinking ahead. That's our Lacey. Oh, you know what? I think it'd be great if the two of you had a battle. Oh, come on, don't just initiate me with a battle. You know I only have two Pokemon. I don't, actually, they don't know that. But whatever. I'd like to see what Nino Marquis is capable of. And our Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club we have going here. To say nothing of the influence of her father, one of Unova's... Gee. Uh, she, has, uh, she has influence from her father that got her a nice rank in the school, huh? Speaking of which, what gym leader is it? Because I do know the gym leaders. I'm, I'm pretty spoiled on that, if you will. Um, Pokemon Black is a blind playthrough, but it's not like I don't know anything about it. Oh, I wish you wouldn't go spreading personal information without asking first. It's just not right. I bet I know exactly who you are the daughter of. I just can't remember. Oh, never mind. It wouldn't be. You, you just said it was your father. I'm sorry, but there's no negotiating with Director Serrano once he gets an idea in their head. There's no way he'll move on with the tour unless we're given his battle. Besides, I hate to admit it, I'm a little excited myself at the chance to battle you. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's get... Wow, I haven't had a double battle. I think we only had one of those. That was with uh, Rhyme. Okay, well, I'm going to have to say that there's a good chance this isn't going to count in the Nuzlocke because I haven't even had a chance to catch Pokemon yet. But let's see what, how many she's got. Let's plus a little mining. So I'm just curious. These two Pokemon are uh, Baxcalibur, and I'm suppo I suppose I'm representing Blueberry Academy in this battle. I'll try not to disappoint. Um, so Guard of War, you, oh, Kratos, you too. I was going to say you both. So Raven was the survivor from Teal Mask. Kratos was the survivor from the, the base Nuzlocke of Violet. And obviously I'm going to win this because they don't seem to be uh, very high level, contrary to what happened in Teal Mask. That's part of the problem. Um, uh, yeah, you're probably not. I would imagine you're going to outspeed me. You don't outspeed her, but you will outspeed me. Um, Bax's caliber is pretty slow. But uh, that's one of the things that I never know going into these things is what to expect for levels, which is why sometimes it's a little difficult. Of course you have that. At least, oh, yeah, look at you go. All right, so since you have that, I'm going to Psychic you, and then I will Avalanche you. So I, since I don't know what their levels are, I just kind of play it around. You know, I just, I could look it up, I suppose, but eh. These Pokemon I thought would be around the same level they were, and I was close. I'm 10 levels higher, but hey, like I said, that was pretty close. That was quite a harsh blow. Let's see. How should I now how should I turn it around? How about I send out my Giratina? So double battles. I dig it, man. We only had uh my plus minus strategy isn't working. Guess I'll have to go out with pure strength. You only have one Pokemon left. Excadrill. Oh, look at this, man. Excadrill. We're going Gen 5. I love it. That said, you are about to die a horrible, horrible death. Um, you're going to outspeed me, so just don't kill me. I didn't want that, but like I say, I, I don't think the first battle ever counts in, in DLC. <laughs> I, never, uh, I never count the first battle as part of the challenge, simply because of that. I have no one I can switch into. I have no one I can do anything with. And spe in fact, she uses a double iron head. But that's all right, because I haven't had any chance to catch Pokemon, so the first battle almost always results in a loss. What do you mean I gave money out? You were overwhelmed by your defeat? What? I was going to say, we just go into a cutscene. I'm relieved I could pull out a win. It was positively white-hot battle. Also, the other reason is everybody wins this battle. I like to see the dialogue from what a loss it looks like. As you can see, it was a single line of dialogue. She does that, and then she goes, The students here at Blueberry Academy were only recently issued terror orbs, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. 
Well done for both of you. You really, t you're, you really battled it out there, blueberry style. Speaking of style, I forgot I had a uniform for you. You, f you feel like you fit in as soon as you're dressing the part. I was gonna say I stick out, man. I'm from teal mask right now. Don't change your hair. Okay, good. It suits you beautifully. Now well, it's like a hundred dollar backpack. This guy wasn't screwing around. Now that's what I call fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. Indigo style card. Sweet. That should give you a few more options when you visit the shops and salons in, in such in Paldea. Now you'll look the part, and hopefully you'll feel it too. Why don't you head into the school? You can pick where you want to go from the gates over there. That's where I'm going to be catching a ton of Pokemon, the Terrarium. Yep. So, that said, uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I guess, you know what, we just dive right into the Terrarium and start catching Pokemon. I'll keep track of myself. That way I, I know exactly what I'm doing. I dig that. I actually do. That that looks pretty cool. Whoa, dude. All right. Check this out. I love the tunnel, dude. This looks great. I thought I was going to see water on the outside, but that looks uh, that looks really be much better. All right. Here it is from the trailer. Every one of these areas that is in the terrarium are going to allow me to build my Nuzlocke team. They're going to be the foundations. Basically, that'll be the challenge. It'll be building up a team and then going right into this Elite Four gym challenge. I'm not sure how many are. I think there are gym leaders. The students are acting as gym leaders. And then there's an Elite Four. This is it. The park beneath the sea that has gained renown around the world. Our very own terrarium. We may be underwater, but the project. We may be underwater, but the projectors built into the walls and ceiling make it feel like we're really outside, don't they? We've been able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon through technology. It's 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 uh, yeah, it's a captive zoo, dude. I designed all of this myself, and believe me, it was not cheap. <laughs> With, within this dome, there are four distinct biomes. Here we have the nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome. Then, with the glitching biome, I mean the uh, tropical coastal biome. For, uh, further out to the left, you'll see the craggy, crunchy, rugged canyon biome. And at last, the arctic and snowy polar biome. Each biome's air and humidity levels are regulated with utmost care. That's why you'll find completely different Pokemon species living in that area. We put a lot of effort into it. Tell me, Nita Marquis, which biome tickles your fancy off the bat? Eh, let's just right up here. It's a very familiar sort of environment, isn't it? The open stretches of land make it easy to observe how Pokemon are living. If you need to heal up your team while you're down here, feel free to use the self-serving healing machines that we even started <laughs> i like how we're like you know what screw screw having anybody even operate these things dude just you can do it yourself now then director serrano can you explain to us why crystals form here and how the wild pokemon are able to terrestrialize i huh but don't you know that already Lacey? that oh i get it you want me to do the talking in that case let me show you the reason is actually right above our heads that is there is the terrarium core which presides over all that happens in the terrarium you know i'm playing a game called tales of arise right now and you know that's usually the sight of a giant core over your head is oppressive but hey it contains a fluid we've jam-packed full of a special material from paldea it's constantly emitting terrestrial energy that's what allows pokemon to terrestrialize in the dome wonderful well said sir that's exactly right so if i send an attack up there you'd be pissed Though, I still don't know what that special material is within the terrarium core itself. It's never been shared publicly, has it? Oh, you want to know? Well, in fact, it's... It's... Blood from Legendary Pokemon. Now, what was it? I've plumb forgotten. Briar put all of it together, so I'm not certain myself. Well, that's what I thought you would say. Practical battle class will commence shortly in the coastal biome. Students participating in this class should make their way to the coastal biome now. 
Oh, it looks like you're just in time to see a class session, too. Did my backpack change colors? Hmm. This is a too good a chance to pass up. Once you join us, Nina Marquis, you can get your first taste of our school's classes. I didn't even attend my own classes, so I love this sort of passion for education. I'll go ahead and register the terrarium map to your Rotom phone for you. Like, she has the fairy phone, and I have the poison one. I win. It's fun to take a stroll through the terrarium on your own, and I think it'd be more of a hassle than anything if you had me holding your hand. So, yep, that settles it. Please find your way to the class site in the coastal biome on your own. Well, doesn't it, it doesn't seem like I'm needed here. Wait, sir, you don't... But I've made sure that a dorm room has been set up for you, Nina Marquis, so don't forget to give it a visit later. Oh, yes, and one more thing. Could you open your Pokedex app for me? There you go. Blueberry Pokedex acquired, and here we go. Catch as many Pokemon out here in the terrarium as you please. Don't don't be afraid to go saws buck wild. Yeah, the last time I was talking about saws buck was during the Nuzlocke, and as I was trying to talk about saws buck, I found a shiny Pokemon, so... It's your student life here at Blueberry Academy, so remember to live it to its fullest. And there he goes. Well, you can at least count on me to be around when you need me, so there's no call for concern. It's probably time we both head to class. I'll be waiting for you to join us in the coastal biome. Well, she's a lot nicer than Carmine. All right, well, let's see. How do I want to do this? So if there's only four biomes, there should be different areas in the biomes. I'm going to go for a stroll really quickly just to figure out how I'm going to do the Nuzlocke catching. Give me just a second. All right, my friends, after further consideration, I've decided that it looks like, anyways, if I back this map out, that there's the Savannah Plaza, the Savannah Biome is the whole area, and there's really not anything in here, per se. Like, it's split up, but there's not really a, a defined area for anything. So, I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to arbitrarily decide, like, four Pokemon here, Four Pokemon here, four here, and four here. And that'll give me a total of 16 plus the two I've got. So that should be plenty of Pokemon to survive a challenge. So while I get set, I'm going to go to the top of this hill, close my eyes, drive my Pokemon here, and catch the first encounter of four in the Savannah Biome. Here we go. Right as of now. Nope, I see a bunch of Trap Inch. I don't want to know what I'm getting. All right. Right here, I'm going to go forward now, three, two, one, and eyes are closed, and I'm going to weave. All right, guys, this will be how I catch Pokemon. <laughs> it's a little unconventional of a way, but hey, this is how I've always done it, so this is how, if you haven't seen my Nuzlocke, how everything goes. I just kind of listen in and wait until I hear something, which so far I'm not hearing anything of. I accidentally hit it too, too high on that one. There we go. All right, execute. Perfect. I was, uh, I think I was shifting the controller a little too much here, but execute, that's perfect. So, uh, execute. You're actually so weak. What, why is, yeah, it looks, I'm seeing nothing but Gen 1 over here, man. Did you guys not get the memo of how Gen 5 was structured was to kind of like soft reset on Gen 1? But I guess they didn't get that memo. So I should be able to just throw a ball at it and be all right. So the first catch is going to be Execute, which is great because Executor is going to be an awesome Pokemon to have on the first squad. Right on, guys. So there's the first catch. And I'll just try to remember that I've got one of my four encounters in this area. And I'll try and make sure they're spread out. So with that said, uh, nickname time. This shall be, henceforth, the new Janny to take over for the shiny Suda Wudo who did bite the dust in the original Nuzlocke. The new one, named after my good friend Janinjuice, his characters, he has a great portfolio, literally an insanely great portfolio of characters. They are amazing. His palm tree character is Janny. So, there you go, man. Janinjuice, you're back in it. You've made your way into all three versions of this Nuzlocke. So, the other thing that will be going on are battles. 
I'm not going to battle until I have a double. Yeah, because he wants double battles. I'm not going to battle until I have a full team. So I think I'll go around the biomes for now. But no one shall go unbattled. If they challenge me to a battle, I cannot say no. I will accept and I will destroy. In the meantime, let me take you through the area and give you my first impressions here. So I'm kind of curious, like... First off, I, I dig the idea. It just feels like something's off. Like... <laughs> You just look at it and you're like, oh, this is beautiful, uh, but something's wrong and there's something off about it. I will say I am critical of the whole legendaries thing. So the first problem is you got to understand everyone hated that they shiny locked all the legendaries in this area, right? I have two perspectives for you. Number one, I am really happy that the shiny hunting community has become so large compared to when I was first in it 20 years ago. It's become so large that that's even an issue, that people are even offended at all that they are shiny locked. Trust me, 15 years ago, I feel like shiny locks, they would have been like, what does it matter? You're just sitting, you're sitting there and you're, you're spending your time, you're wasting your time resetting a million times. Just play the game. Now everybody kind of understands where I was coming from 20 years ago. The second thing is, I've never been a fan of this new pay-to-play style where basically if you buy the DLC or in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, you buy a whole nother game, you just magically gain access to all the legendary Pokemon all nicely in one section. What, uh... Oh, I was just seeing it wrong. I was like, what the heck is going on here? I'm, I, I just couldn't see you correctly. But, uh, so I'm, I've never been a fan of this whole pay-to-play style where basically everybody gets all the Pokemon unlocked. All the legendary Pokemon are just here waiting for you in the same area, conveniently located, so long as you drop another $30, you know? Oh, I kind of like this, dude. I like this. I love how they have these random, like, I don't know, it feels very Minecraft block-like as the wall that separates the biomes. But, uh, obviously I need to get to... Actually, I don't remember where I was going. Hold on. I gotta see on the map where I was even going. Yeah, right there. I gotta go up here for the class. Alright, well, I guess I'll meet you there. Before I meet you there, I just wanna say, man, there's a freaking Trumbeak here. And I gotta tell you, I loved, seriously loved, I was counting on Sun and Moon making a huge, not a comeback, but earning respect four or five years after the games came out. I love seeing that. All right, onwards. As we approach here, I think I note that we're hearing some Gen 5 music remixes. Those are remixes that I keep hearing with the Pokemon battles. Oh, need a marquee. You don't have any trouble finding... Or you didn't have any trouble finding the place, did you? Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. <laughs> Say again, I didn't catch that. Alola, everybody. Ah, oh, look at that. I love it. Shall we get started? Looks like we have a new face here with us today. I'm sure you're all enjoying the tropical climb we've created here at the coastal biome. But remember, it's really for the many Pokemon we're, you'll find living here, adapted for such weather. Why does everybody look weird here, man? One such species has even grown exceptionally larger than in other regions, all thanks to the light exposed here. That's right, certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. It's called the regional form. We used to call it regional variants, but hey. And that brings us to today's task. I'd like you to catch one of these Pokemon, specifically an Alolan form Pokemon. When you've got one, come and report back to me. Now get catching. Well, I'm not going to catch a Pokemon for the nut. Well, actually, is that technically an encounter? Many of our classes here at Blueberry Academy are practical like this one. So off you go. Don't overthink it and just do your best for the first class. All right. Well, uh, I'm just going to cut straight to getting back here. All right, dude, I got your Pokemon. Did you manage to catch an Alolan Pokemon for you? Yeah, I found a friggin... Oh, that. <laughs> Executor was running around over there. Uh, that's one, all right. You have, without a doubt, got yourself an Alolan Executor. They say that as Executor grew taller and taller, it outgrew its reliance on psychic abilities and the power of Sleeping Dragon within it awoke. Yeah, that and the designers are just having fun. Wait, Nina Marquis already finished the assignment? It's a walk in the park, literally. So battling isn't your only talent, then. You've got a knack for catching Pokemon, too. It's easy to see how high level the students must be at Uva Academy. Actually, they're pretty low level. You guys have level 70s. They have level 5s. With the exception of, like, a few. 
Did I mention we also have gangs? We're all out of time for today, so that'll have to be it for this class session. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, that'll be your homework assignment before our next session. Class dismissed. Bro, how did you not see it? I walked 10 feet that way and I found it. So, Nita Marquis, what did you think of your first class? It was fun. Yeah, I just went and caught one. Uh, it was, seems like a side quest in a JRPG. Or in an RPG. <laughs> really, it makes me so happy to hear that. Oh, I was supposed to make an appearance at the club room. Shoot. I'm afraid this will be the end of our little tour, but uh, let me leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks called Blueberry Quests, or BBQs. Uh, they're sort of like missions that the school assigns to students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles. Or catch specific Pokemon, those sort of things. You never know what the next BBQ might be. But if oh, this is where you, yeah, this is just for the shiny sandwiches, dude. <laughs> those that that blueberry special that just magically gives you some shiny Pokemon. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's not crazy. Shiny Pokemon were very difficult to get for years. I get why they've made it easier. But I already do know about this mechanic. Sorry for having to dash, but I really must be off. All right, well, let me fill up the team, and then I'll continue. Oh, I guess my phone's going to go. Hey, this is Nito McKee's phone, right? It's me, Carmine. I heard the news. You got picked for the Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? I did. Ha, one of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd be fellow students of BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now, let me think. Where could we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. She's going to want to battle me for sure. So I'm going to fill up the team before we go there. So that said, this will be... Uh, I haven't ex execute from the first. So let's go. Let's go up here. All right. Uh, I'm going to head that way. And first Pokemon I encounter, that'll be the first encounter of this biome. So close my eyes. Hit it off, speed up, and start sweeping. Here we go. Eyes are closed. I'm only listening to the sound of my game. I can't hear anything else. Oddly enough, that always bites me because whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm doing this, I can only hear what I'm doing. I can't see, so sometimes I just run into rocks. And it's like, what the heck? In fact, now is one of those times where I'm like, am I ever going to hit anything? I would start thinking about looking, but I know how big this area is. So I guess... Uh, I guess what I will have to do here is I can't hear anything so five four three two one okay I hit the wall so <laughs> my bad try it one more time here we go we'll just go right into the beach here close my eyes straight ahead and once again got one Crab Brawler. You know what? Crab Brawler. Um, Crab Brawler, I actually know... You know what? I should probably switch Pokemon. <laughs> Executor is not on the team, by the way. So I think I'm going to name you Executor. By the way, is uh, or the Executor I've got is not going to be in the Lolan one because I caught her. Well, actually, I don't know how that's going to work. Ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. And I'm glad that you have that attack. So... But in the meantime, I'm going to name you Coffee. So naming Crab Roller Coffee is awesome because five years ago when I recorded Pokemon Ultra Moon, the Blind Nuzlocke, a certain giant light dragon eliminated Coffee the Crab Roller from existence. So, Crab Roller? Well, actually, at that time it was evolved, but you get my point. All right, Crab Roller, you, uh, you are back. Coffee is back. Who would have thought that I'm bringing dog coffee back to life in the year 2024? Life is full of surprises, my friends. So that is this biome. Let me go to the other two biomes and I... Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll let you know. I think I need to heal up, but I don't know where I want to do it at. I don't know. I'll just cut to the next encounter. All right, here we are at the polar biome. I'm going to just go right over the ramp. Eyes closed. Right now, let's go. 
Man, this uh, the, these biomes, I will admit, they're uh, there. We go, Lapras. Lapras is the encounter, huh? I was gonna say these biomes. The thing I was trying to say is, I will say the aesthetic is pretty pleasing, but I do have to. I just have to laugh at the idea. I guess you know what? You could you can take a psychic. You're extremely defensive. That's why I'm glad to have you. But uh, these oh, perish song. <laughs> Got to be careful with that, huh? All right, um, parish count fell to three. Lapras's parish count. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm actually going to throw a dive ball at you because of that. So I was going to get you a little lower than that because I wanted you out of the green. But yeah, in this case, yeah, critical catch. We're, we're all good. Lapras dropping that parish song. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's got to be careful about that one. Actually, I would have loved a quillfish. Although I don't know if you can evolve it into overquill in these games. I don't even know how that would work. I have no idea what the evolving mechanism is. This is a really appropriate name, Marco. The reason is, is number one, it's named after the last male singer I listened to in a heavy metal group in the band Nightwish. That was the last band I was listening to prior to recording this. It just had music going. And it makes sense because you play Marco Polo in the water, and this is a water-type Pokemon I caught in the water. So... <laughs> It's uh, working on two levels here. I will get one more Pokemon, and then I will go see Carmine. This should be a, probably a pretty short Nuzlocke, to be honest, because if you think about it, all I'm doing is I'm going to battle Carmine a couple times, I'm sure, and Lacey a couple times. I'm going to do Gym Leaders. I'm going to do Elite Four, and then that's it. Like And whatever, the, I'm sure they have a champion in this area. But that's, that's all the Nuzlocke will actually be. I will search this area. Uh, or these areas, I should say. I would be happy to search these areas and and all of that. But at the same time, I mean, I'm doing that sort of independent. I don't know if that's all going to be recorded. We'll see. Onwards. All right, here it is. The Canyon Biome. And this will be my last encounter. That will fill out the team. So here we go. Eyes closed. Speed up with me right on. And wherever I'm at, you can see I cannot. So with Carmine, as uh, I know that Carmine is uh, is there, just kind of waiting for me to battle. So I'm gonna. There we go. Caesar, dude, sick encounter. Holy crap! I think I was so that I had to stop and just start over because I was just pinned in that wall. So that gets annoying, but uh, but that's all right because I caught a Pokemon, or I, I should say I, I came across an encounter. Does a Dusk Ball work in here? You gotta wonder if a dusk ball even works, but that said, uh, possibly a net ball would be my best options here. Dude, Caesar, what a good Pokemon for this. <laughs> oh man, dude, yeah, he's not, uh, oh, okay, he's gonna use Iron Defense, I'm gonna say. Yeah, hopefully, uh, dude, he looks, look at the textures. Metallic textures in these games. I just wanna make sure that uh, it's, yeah, bug. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I was just like, I am right, aren't, aren't I? And I am absolutely correct. Uh, Caesar is a beast, dude. This is going to be awesome. I love metallic textures in these games. The metallic textures just look insanely sharp. I love it, dude. Uh, Tyrogue would have been an excellent encounter, too. Tyrogue, there's a bunch of Tyrogue around here. I would have been able to have a sweet... Actually, I've had multiple Hitmonchan in my Nuzlocks. I think I've had two Nuzlocks now that I ran into Hitmonchan. All right, you're maxed out on that. You, you're going you're gonna to be switching attacks here. And I want you to be careful because I have a Psychic type out here. So don't use like, well, you are going to use. Don't use Bug Buzz, X Cutter, any of that. We're going we're gonna to be cool about this, all right? We're going to be cool about this. Iron Head, I'm weak to that too. Yo, yo, that was really close. Hold on. Take it, dial it back a step, man. Dial it back. I'm going to swap to an Ice type and you're going to use Iron Head and hurt him severely as well, aren't you? But I'm hoping you spam Iron Defense for a little while. I wonder if I should just switch to... I don't know. You know what? Yeah, I kind of want to hit you with something. Uh, let's hit you with Avalanche. This probably won't even do anything, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to switch out. Yeah, that does nothing, dude. Um, he's got Iron Head. i got to be super careful about this. Losing a Pokemon here would be absolutely detrimental. Swords Dance? Oh, dude, we got to be so careful. <laughs> Oh, man, we got to be, uh, maybe I need to switch off of, uh, I was going to say, is this, this is a uh, lower level of the wild Pokemon. Uh, 
I was going to say, maybe maybe I need to stop using net balls and switch into ultra balls. He's using swords dance. i got to be so careful. Thank you for the critical catch. I cannot afford a swords dance iron head into an ice type. <laughs> I was just counting on the fact that I have a decent defense, and I'm level 81. Whoa, that was freaking close. Don't ask me why I'm suddenly naming after everything after Nightwish stuff. But I have to explain that because most people probably don't know Lucky Kirsha is a... Uh, Nightwish album. All right. Uh, do I get a chance to heal? I'm literally right here at the central plaza, so I'm just going to go right in to, to meet her. But we're going to battle. And shall we do battle? I would like to be healed up as I do it. So let me look around and see. Before I find Carmine, where can I heal up the team before I battle her? Dude, I really do. <laughs> this looks... First off, in 2024, are these even sanitary anymore? I don't think drinking fountains are... I think the water refill stations are going to be more prevalent than that nowadays. All right, so I found Carmine, but I don't want... There we go. That's what I want. This Minecraft-looking area, I feel like they did that on purpose. Is that a Porygon Z? Dude, that was a Porygon 2, I think I just saw back there. I, I saw it at the corner of my eye just for just a second. Also... All right, I guess we are. So, hey, look at that. Good to see you getting some respect. I see the drink stations. Where are the rest areas or the healing areas? That's what I'm asking. I just want to heal before I battle Carmine. Aha. So it was right by her. I found it right here. No, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to heal my Pokemon. What would you like to do? Heal Pokemon because I'm about to battle. In fact, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do a couple of moves here, some high level stuff here. It's called optimizing and evolving. I don't know where I got all these ice stones at, but uh, I was actually gonna leave Crab Rawler as a Crab Rawler just based on the fact that back in the Nuzlocke that I originally had Crab Rawler, which was Moon Ultra Moon. I didn't know how to evolve this Pokemon, so I didn't know it was an Ice Stone. So he died as a Crab Rawler. So this time, though, because I have so many Ice Stones, I'm going to go ahead and involve him into Crab Abominable. So that's, uh, that's one thing I'm going to do. The Wooly Crab Pokemon. Sweet. Never got a chance to have you, so Coffee finally evolves uh, years, years, I should say, after the original issues. And, of course... Execute, same thing. I'm going to evolve him with a Leaf Stone. Uh, technically, I only have one Leaf Stone, but obviously you can get a dime a dozen around here. So, And Executor is born. Let's rock. All right, the team is optimized. I'm ready to go. Carmine, there's no way we're not battling, especially where we're at. Dude, that guy looks pretty sweet. All right, let's rock, Carmine. She's going to say, oh, it's good to see you. Let's battle. All right, there she is just kind of talking to this dude who's... Oh, it's sorry. <laughs> this girl that's got sweet boots and uh, I like the glasses and the hair. So, yeah, things are a bit rough now. I couldn't agree more. Uh, you have a visitor, Carmine. I was going to say, what's so rough? Also, I put on the winter gear just like them. Long time no see, Nino Marquis. I bet you missed me, huh? Sure, yes, I did. Huh, honestly, our honesty is the best policy, huh? What is with that? What is, oh, time for me? Oh, is our watch. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Okay, see you around. All right, let's battle, Carmine. I know you want to. Haven't seen you since Teal Mask. That's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Hmm, speaking of classmates, it kind of feels weird seeing you here at my school. And look at you. You haven't changed at all since we last met. As for me, well, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. We've been to uh, all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time we battled. You want to see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I knew she was going to battle me. If you see Carmine, you know you're battling. Ah, right, here we go. Carmine, I remember your team. I know what you got. You ready for a double battle that'll hit you? I remember your team. I know what you got. There's no surprises for me. It was like two weeks ago. Oh, two cannon. Okay, that's new. She's got a two cannon now. So I brought out my ice types and you bring out your bird. That's no good for you. 
I'll give you a special treat since you came all the way this way. Get ready to eat terrarium dirt. <laughs> Hypercutter. Nice. I forgot what ability you even had on you. All right. So, all right. That I, I see that uh, she's definitely out-leveling me here. That's not exactly the greatest thing in the world. Here's what I think we do. She's got four, but I don't want to die, obviously. So, um... I say I go for Iron Defense. She's got a bunch of physical attackers out here. And let's go Avalanche. So my only thing is, is that he's got that weird move where the priority goes really, really... Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to do that. He's got that weird move. Yeah, that one. Um, two cannons, a uh, signature attack. It, it literally goes last. There. Kill him. Yeah! I don't remember what it's called though. Hey, stop that! Why don't you loot, or why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometimes? That was probably avoiding utter disaster, considering that Tucanon is no slouch. Super Fang. Okay, remember she's a trainer, so I get two healing items against her. By the way, that's the rule I've gone with with Nuzlocke: one healing item for wild encounters in Pokemon, two fighting. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Hypercutter again. So. Kratos, I think you got to come out. Um, you've got your attack has been slashed twice. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back out and go with... who's Who do I want to go with? So you guys are going to be hitting me with fighting moves. So I say we go with Raven so that the fighting moves are... Oops, I'm sorry. That's Coffee. Coffee, Terrastalize, and Brick Break him in the face. And now you switch out and go into my Psychic Fairy type. This is perfect. Swap them out. That way the Scrafty is going to go after the wrong Pokemon. And then I don't know what Mighty Anna is going to go for. Probably Howl. That's what she was doing last time I met her. But it doesn't matter because I think you're about to die. Now even if you use a fighting move on Crabominable, he's not an Ice type anymore. So I'm good. I'm safe. Nice, dude. Carmine battles are actually pretty hype. I actually enjoy this whenever I see, especially, yep, see, you're setting up with Howl, and that is great because I don't have any priority moves, do I? It doesn't matter. You're going to die in one shot. Bulk up. All right, we're setting up. We're setting up, and that's fine by me. Here we go. Take out the Mightyena in one shot. I'm not losing anybody here. Dead. All right, so Raven is... Uh, surprisingly over leveled. I came off of the DLC, and there, there's your Sinistra. I remember that. So, uh, let's go Ice Punch on. Well, wait, do I want? Yeah, let's go Ice Punch. No, we don't. We go Brick Break, and we do it on a Sinistra, and then we go Psychic. No, we don't go Psychic. Sorry, we go Moon Blast. Uh, no, we go Psychic. I take it back. It's Moon Blast. It's super effective on fighting types. I had to think about that for a second. I'm ready to go all out. Time for me to Terra it up. Okay, so she's Terrastalizing. Which one's going? Okay, Sinistra. All right, I'm good with that. Sinistra, you are now... Oh, you're a Grass type. Perfect. No, not perfect. I used a fighting move. I should have used that Ice move after all. Here we go. Moon Blast. Take him out. Insta-kill, boom, down. Dead. All right, then uh, is this Stun Spore? Okay, all right, we're hanging in there. We got Stun Spore on the wrong Pokemon. The Crabominable is the one that... Oh, yeah, Synchronize. I keep forgetting that I have cool abilities set up here. I forgot about Synchronize. I don't know why. Kill him. Uh, it won't be in one shot, will it? No. Yeah. You, when you switched your type, you really saved yourself. So now I will definitely use Ice Punch on you, Sinistra. And then with Raven, I say we just go for Psychic. Take him out. Ice Punch one shot. Not one shot. Freeze. Not freeze. And I outsped. Sinistra, you are super slow. So you are done, and that is it. GG. Walking away with absolutely no problems. I could have used Psychic on uh, on Scrafty, to be fair, but once I realized I wanted to go Moonblast, I was like, oh, yeah, Moonblast is stronger. That did not go the way I had planned. Oh, man, we are back in Nuzlocke battling mode, dude. I'm going to do some battles. 
that's how I'm going to end this episode is I'm going to run around and kick the crap out of people. Ah, I, I got so much stronger once I could terrestrialize my Pokemon, but you just had to go and get even stronger, didn't you? You still don't hold back in battles, huh? Another thing that hasn't changed a bit. Well, I mean, Carmine, to be fair, all these Pokemon, I caught them five minutes ago. Hey, by the way, have you uh, run into Kiki yet? No, I haven't. He was raging the last time I saw him. Oh, never mind. If you, s if you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. Are you kidding me? What? Was this assignment too hard for you? Wait, that's... Uh, oh, he's he hit his edgy teenager face. It did not take long. <laughs> I knew it. That's Kyrian. Or, uh, actually, I keep calling him Kyrian, but I think it's uh, Kyrian. Kyrian. Kyrian, uh, whew, he almost saw us. Wait, that's Kyrian? Yeah, he's, uh, he's listening to Blink-182 and Linkin Park now, and uh, he changed his hair and wears all black. Uh, I thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. Sorry. Things must have been really, or things have been really hectic at my home this month. Oh, got it. Oh, wait, he probably talks like this. Now. So that means you're just okay being this weak forever? That's what I'm hearing? <laughs> Kieran, no, you did not turn into a goth phase. Like, well, I, I guess it's not goth phase, but still, your edgy teenager phase. Uh, well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. Punch him. I'll write your resignation from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who won't take it seriously. Wait, Kieran, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Man, he uh, changed a little bit since the whole Holger Pond fiasco. <laughs> Not what you were expecting, right? Kiki looks different, acts different. Uh, he hasn't been the same since we got back from that school trip. Well, that was painful to watch. All right, let's see who this dude is. You have white hair, but that doesn't... I was going to say, it doesn't mean anymore that you're old. If it isn't Carmine, and Carmine's new mystery friend. Think I might have heard of you, though. Are you that new kid with that wild backstory? Yeah, I've got legendary Pokemon, and it's crazy. What a lovely surprise. Uh, just the annoying bozo I didn't want to run into. Come on now, at least let me introduce myself. This is Drayton, and he's the worst. Drayton? He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was, at least, until I walked into the building. Beautiful intro, thanks. This is Nito Marquis. He's here on a foreign exchange program. He's my friend, and what about Kieran? You friends with the guy? Well, uh, yeah, we're friends. Oh, I see, that's great. All right, Nita Marquis, how about I show you to our club room? Huh? Why do you need to do that? You haven't joined any clubs we've got here, right? Take it from me. You'll have a way better time here if you join one. We'd love to have you in such an interesting new member. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we'd better call dibs now. Come with me. All right, so we've got uh, edgy factions going on here. Well, I've got gangs at my school. I mean, they dress up really glamorous and have stars all over them, but still, I have gangs. See, I told you he was the worst. Look at him, just assuming we'll go along with whatever. I'm going with you. I, wh who says I was going to go in the first place? And here we are. Hey. Are you sure this is a good idea? You know, cause, cause of Kieran? Nah, don't worry. He won't show up any here anytime soon. If you say so. Anyways, this is the base of operations for the League Club. On behalf of the whole club, glad you're here. Um, what's the club do? I don't know why, but this guy definitely reminds me like he's, uh, <laughs> glad you ask. I feel like he's, uh, alluding to a character. Oh, I love the hand-drawn pseudo-udo back there. <laughs> we Blueberry Academy students have our own league. Yeah, I know about the league. So I'll kind of skip through that and win or lose. Yep. Um, you're not wrong, but seriously, that's how you explain it to new people? Yep. Though, though, I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than as of usual than lately. 
<laughs> Look at the horsey. I love it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room that much though. Just FYI, the top four Pokemon trainers are called the BB League Elite Four. And this annoying toothpaste haired bozo is one of them. So, so is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier. I actually, I, I really like that idea, by the way. The school factions having their own, like, club, and that club is has Elite Four and gym leaders. Too bad you didn't make the cut, Carmine. I've just been too busy with extracurricular stuff. Haven't had time for league matches. If we're talking actual skill, I'm way above any other Elite Four members. That's no lie. What you think, Nino Marky? Fun club, huh? No, not really. I just want to beat everybody. I had a feeling you're more into the idea than you're letting on. Anyway, think uh, think that takes care of it. You're in on a trial basis. What do you mean trial basis? Yeah, if I just beat Carmine and she's supposed to be super skilled, then you all know that you heard me. As far as Draster's concerned, we're clubmates now. Trial basis clubmates. So now you can use this club room, club room freely and do whatever you, with the stuff here. Check out the computer over there too. It's super helpful. Let's you use your BP to support kids in other clubs. They'll return the favor in different ways. Using the PC, donating BP to them. In return, you'll reap... So oh, I was going to say, hey, I, I don't donate anything, man. I'm here for me. Here, give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. Ah, of course, he's got the black phone. I actually like that case, but my poison case is a lot better. Thanks for the BP, though. Try sending that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with your throwing form. Uh, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and send that to, uh, yeah, contribute BP. Pitch some cool throwing styles. Not exactly caring to do that, but... All right. Thanks for the support, Nito Marquis. Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking I could hold my hand like this, get me? Then I swing my leg and ha! Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking through this with you really helped. We've come, to, we, we've come up with a real home run here. If you ever need to change how you throw your Pokeballs, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that they're doing that. All right, I'm good with that. I've always wanted to throw left-handed in uh, in the anime. They always throw left in, or I should say it's very common that games throw left in the game, but then in the anime, there's no lefties. Whoa, you did it. Not bad for your first time. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you from one charming catch to another. The, or sorry, the catching charm, huh? Having one of these mysterious unshakable charms makes it more likely you'll get a critical catch so we're just handing those out just like the shiny charm now right everything's just handed to you i mean yeah okay you got to fill the, the decks to get the shiny charm but you get my point you can have this too put it on you'll look cool just like the draster the league club uniform anyway feel free to computer it up any way you want like i said we're on a trial basis classmate or uh, club mates now and that's not all for a limited time you can have as many of these snacks as you want those snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you leave around opened and half finished. I wouldn't go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting there. Bro, all that explaining left me starving. Think I'm going to head over to the cafeteria. If you want to officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. A what? Be seeing ya. That bozo, seriously, what is his problem? And a cafeteria date, what does that even mean? Uh, calm down, Carmine. Just so you know, this is not excitement over the date thing. It's anger. Yeah, I'm not dating that, bro. Uh, being in here puts me on edge. Let's go somewhere else. Someplace people won't bother us. I know, let's go to your room. Uh, hey, Carmine? This is a PG game, you know that? Well, okay, yeah, let's take Carmine to my room. All right, well, we're going to finish up the recording here, and then I think, uh, how do I want to do this, actually? Well, it looks like this is your room. Yeah, it looks identical to my other room. Who would have guessed? I wish you could customize the rooms, though. Unless you can, and I've just been ignorant for the last year. 
Uh, so what do you think? How does it compare to the dorms back at your school? Uh, so blue. Well, we are at Blueberry Academy. Of course it's blue. You can come have a look at my room later, too, if you want. Uh, I don't think that's professional. Oh, but I got distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. What about Kirian? Kirin, uh, Kiki is, well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. Wise decision. He's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the league club and the BB League champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Yeah, Kermie and you haven't gotten out of yours either. Kieran's changed, but you, you've stayed the same. Yeah, I'm already a champ. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, you know? Or would you? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll head over to him. And then I'll dethrone him. I'll knock him down a peg or two. And there's one more thing I need to talk to you about. Drayton, don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real super annoying jerk. Or he's an annoying super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He's had to repeat the same year three times. What? Bro, that guy, this is an elite academy. He shouldn't even be here anymore. Point is, don't let your guard down around him, ever. You're going on your date. I mean, you're going to go hang out with Drayton later, right? I'd go. I'd go with. But if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really going to be in trouble. I'd love... I'd love for you to join the league club, but if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Man, we're, this is violence now? All right, I dig it. Let's, uh, let's get violent. <laughs> Talk to Drayton. Okay, I guess, you know what, this recording's long enough. I'll leave it off here. I had some solid battles. Actually, wait a minute. Can I go have a couple more battles before the end of the recording? You know what? Actually, I guess I, I changed my mind. I will save it. I'm going to save this for the next recording, so... I'm going to go around, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like the survival mode. I will go around and battle every single trainer without stopping here to heal. And I will use items only in battle, not out of battle. So I'll basically knock down every trainer, and then I'll be back here. So that'll be the next recording. I will see you guys next time. Later. Thank you for watching, truly. I am Nito Marquis. I am humble and I'm proud, and I'm thankful. Farewell, my friends.